video, it is a pre-recorded live, unless you're the one person who's already here hanging out. Um, I am sewing and cutting first uh, the Devon pouch from S-O-T-A-K Patterns. I have heavily modified this pattern, so I don't even know if it's actually like the pattern anymore, but that's just kind of how I roll. Um, I have finally mastered my 3D printer and I've made templates for this. So they finished this morning and I've just been dying to use them. So these are the templates. I mean, this one is not great, but it was super exciting because I was able to get this all on the print bed. Like all these pieces, it's giant. Um, so I definitely plan on doing a tutorial for how I use the 3D printer and how I do the pattern pieces. Um, it's just going to be a little tricky because I don't want to use another pattern, another designer patterns, um, but also I don't need any of my own templates made because Tops and Bobbins made them for me, you know what I mean? So I'm trying to do patterns that I don't already have or things that I've made changes to. Um, so I gotta brainstorm on what I'm gonna do. Um, so yeah, maybe I'll try to do just like a super generic thing um, to show you guys how I do it. But I will shut up. Dorothy is still working on falling back asleep. She'll get there. Hi, Angie. Hello, everyone. Ugh, I'm just super excited. Oh, CJ took out the trash. Yeah, just basic shapes. Yeah, that could work. But I think, like, I also want to show you guys how I got the sizing right because it took so long to figure out. Like, CJ had to sit there the entire time and be like, hey, guess what? We'll figure it out. It's okay. <laughs> um, so I'm wearing the same pajama pants as I always do. Have I washed them since then? I really don't know. I just hang them on the door when I'm done wearing them. So don't worry about it. Um, okay. Whew. I don't know why I'm cutting out Devons. I have two drawer drawers full of Devons I need to make, but whatever, we're here. Um, so when I'm cutting out bags, I like to save like interface pieces so I'm just gonna try to find one I can get the main panel out of ah perfect make some Harry Potter ones JK Rowling is trash but we love Harry Potter um, I've also got what was this for a slip pocket and a Sadie maybe that seems right. Ooh, some sprites. What did it? No, this is a peekaboo, so we don't want to mess with that. Ooh, eh, I didn't feel like interfacing anything, but that would be really pretty. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna cut out like two or three, and then we'll sew them up. Just have some fun. Um, I've had trouble sleeping this week. I mean, what's new? I always have trouble sleeping. Um, but I just don't feel like I've accomplished enough in the day. And I know, like, you have. You can go to sleep, but you, you just can't change your mind sometimes. Um, no. All right. I'll go ahead and turn on the heat press because I think I really... I want to make one out of the fabric I got from Carissa at Needle and Anchor. Oh, yay. Oh, hi, Ben. He's like, mother, go to bed. <laughs> What's Ben playing with? What is he playing with? Probably just something. All right, so these are already interfaced. Oh, yeah. I don't think the Snorlax is big enough. Yeah, it's not. I could go this way, but it just doesn't feel like it's giving the print the respect it deserves. She's so close. Okay, so 
Like I said, I'm really excited to be using these templates. Um, they're made with my 3D printer. I bought an any cubic Chiron, Chiron printer. And CJ, it took him forever to level it. God bless him. Um, but he did it. And I also have these um, adhesive strips from Arteza that I've been putting on them so they don't slip. So let's see how those work. See if they make it any better. Eh, maybe, maybe not. Oh, that's so much easier. Mm. Hi, Tammy. Okay. What did I do with the other piece? Oh. I just like full on threw that away. That's still a good piece. <laughs> save you for later. Okay, so we've got two Harry Potter. Yeah, the Snorlax won't fit. And sideways just doesn't seem right. Let's see if we can get a police box. No. no. Shiny? Maybe? Yeah. <sighs> I said a few. No, stop. We'll do this uh, flower fabric and then one with Carissa's print. Um, and this was the fabric I made in that fabric design video that I did, showing you guys how I designed fabrics. And normally I would um, interface before I cut. I would just kind of do like a rough interface, but this will work. Ugh, it's so pretty. <laughs> and this is the recycled canvas from Spoonflower. Um, but the other that I'm using is just a cotton canvas from my fabric supplier. Mm. Okay. I always like to be really careful about how I'm using my spoon flower fabrics because they're so expensive. Australia. Um, so for the Devon, you just need one of that main panel unless you want to do a double sided pouch. And then you would cut two of all of the front pieces. Um, I feel like somebody recently asked me in the comments section, like, how did you do that? And to me, I was like, well, you just cut out two, but you know, that's not something people think about as far as changing a pattern. But yeah, it's that easy. You just cut out the same that you did for the front, for the back. So, yeah. Um, I'm gonna interface these with the ruler I broke. No, it's not broken. Um, <laughs> Pixie Fuse Light. This is from Royal Pixie Custom Fabrics. And it's just like an SF-101 substitute. Hi, Vashara. Um, but yeah, I haven't gotten a chance to use this particular interfacing, but I'm sure it's going to work just dandy. So, 
Just gonna roughly cut that out. Um, I don't really worry about fusing the selvage to simple things like this, especially since it's just gonna be within the seam allowances. Um, where did I get my cutting table? So my cutting table is actually, um, I'll try to show you when I go fuse these. It's two Ikea bookshelves um, with wood screwed on top and below. My dad helped me make it. So it's two Colax bookshelves. We've got a piece of wood screwed to the top and then a couple supporting bars underneath and we added um, caster wheels. So yeah, I definitely don't plan on selling templates ever. Um, especially not for bags. I don't want to worry about getting um, permission from designers. Uh, love my Cardi kid says I went to FM yesterday and wanted to buy all the vinyls. Um, yeah, <laughs> same. Well, I didn't go to FM yesterday, but I always want to buy all the vinyls. Okay. So that fused at like 99 degrees Celsius. I'm going to let it sit for a minute and then fuse it again, just in case. Will buy templates for your patterns. Yeah, no, I just, I would never worry about it. Tops and Bobbins does an incredible job. So, oh, what size is my large heat press? I believe it's 24 by 16. <sighs> Making my wedding dress. Wow. Wow. What a task. What do you do when you have fabric that's non-vinyl? What can be used to create that? Um, I'm not 100% sure what you mean by non-vinyl. I mean, like, these are canvases, so that's not vinyl. Trish, yes. We gotta do it. I'll meet you there. when the world is fully safe again. All right, I'm gonna go through, do I want some leathers? Do I want to use up some scraps? I've got a ton of scrap waterproof canvas in here. Oh, yay, Marilita, that's exciting. She got the precision screwdriver. Like quilting cotton's regular fabric, you can make all the bags that I make out of those, you'll just need to interface them differently. But yeah, they work just as well. We'll be driving through Springfield on the way to Indy. Yes, perfect. <laughs> Road trip to FM, I'm ready. Yes, Cindy. She will host us all. Okay. So I could get my pocket out of this piece of scrap waterproof canvas. Um, yeah. Yeah, that'll work. Oh yeah, not a lot of options in Australia for cool vinyls. Yeah. 
It's only a 19 hour drive to FM. Um, Kim said, no question, but thank you for helping a Caribbean girl gather knowledge for sewing. Aw, happy to help. I know when I started, there wasn't a lot of information on what's good, what's not good. So it's nice to have information. Hmm. That's a bit bold for this. Seven, so probably not that. Um, I love the Devon because I can use up scraps. Mm -hmm. Oh, yay. Um, so FM is a fabric store in Springfield, Missouri. And they have all kinds of stuff. Ooh, this will be perfect for the back. Oh my goodness, heck yeah. So then I could get my zipper tabs out of this little chunk here. Okay, are there any vinyls with cute stuff you can buy from regular retailers? They would all be from fabric groups. Hey, you've been to that M&M store. Is it in Long Beach? How does it compare? Oh, I don't, I don't know. M&M? <laughs> oh! Um, I think I know what you're talking about. The one in California? I don't, was it called M&M? It wasn't great. Yeah, okay, thank you, Trish. God, that feels like it was 17 years ago. It was fine. Um, definitely the fashion district was cooler. You know what? Is this pink and Harry Potter? Like, it's too much. I don't think it works. It's too much. M and L discount fabric in Buena Park. Yes. I remember going there. It was fine. I liked the pink in Harry Potter. Yeah, I think it would be fun, but the pinks aren't quite right. I have a one from, yeah. So I bought, this one is Kunzite. Um, hopefully I'm saying that right. This is from My Punk Broidery. I think this would look super awesome. This is the pink, I think. I want to use. I know I said I was using scraps, but I just don't have the patience. It'll take me like five years to find scraps that'll work. Okay. Okay. There's my back panel. Back panel, need side panel, top vinyl. I really need to change my rotary blade. 
Oh, thank you so much for your service. I know exactly how that is though. It's like, I really need to be awake, but, or I need to be asleep, not awake. Lauren, you make beautiful bags. I have to get up at 2 a.m. Oh, sleep well. Okay. Oh yeah, that looks super cool. There's that. So there's all my vinyl pieces. So that needs a lining. Let's see what else do we have here. Is this the same exact thing? Yep, sure is. Don't need that. Won't do me any good. Ooh. Look at this from my pun embroidery. This one is lime green sheen. Yeah, we'll do a Harry Potter with that. Um, my pun embroidery is gearing up for a sale. Soon too. This is in no way sponsored. I don't get a any code with them or anything. I just really love their product. Oh, do I ever? Ooh. Let's see what else. Am amethyst. Hmm. What do we think about amethyst with this? Oh, thank you. Hmm. I, I like amethyst with it, but I, I'm making this one for me, I think. So I'm going to hold off on it. It's pretty though. I might use a leather I have. Let's see. I saw a question. Oh, Deborah, thank you. Um, let's see. Hi, Gina. Doing good. How are you? I feel like I need. Oh. Brittany, thank you. She said, thanks, Lauren. I feel like I know everything I need to know. I wish I knew everything I needed to know. Angie said, how long into selling did it take you to start turning a profit? I just hit a year and I just keep having to put everything I make back into supplies. <sighs> a very long time. Not like a very long time. And I hate to sit here and try to say like, this is how it's gonna be because every market is different depending on where you're located. Um, but I remember I was working on a big batch of um, Charlotte handbags and I added up the total of interfacing I needed and it was a whole bolt. And $40 for me at that time was like, I don't know, a third of my paycheck. And it was just like sickening to spend that much not sure if I'd make the money or not um but yeah I would say it's taken me a really long time a lot of hard work to keep turning up to finally turn a profit um and honestly your best not your best but what I've had luck with is selling 
smaller items on top of large items. So like all the zipper pouches that I make, things like that, those small items take less time, less fabric, but you can charge like 10 to $15. So they'll help you kind of get that money. I mean, you're never going to get that money back, but like they help pad it out. I hope that makes sense. And that's what's helped me anyway. But yeah, it is very time consuming and hard work. Um, and then trying to find your niche can help too. So I make a lot of like fandom related bags and that's been part of my niche. Um, and then for a while, I know some of you actually found me through that, but I was making bags out of damaged Blue LuLaRoe leggings and clothing. And that, I mean, I'd work 18 hour days trying to sew all of that up, but that was a huge portion of how I was able to you know, afford more bag making supplies and looking for sales all the time. So I hope that long winded answer kind of helped. <laughs> oh my gosh, kid, look at this kid. She's literally like, <laughs> that's her booty up in the air. Just having a grand old time. <sighs> yeah. <laughs> right, Cindy? Cutting and interfacing on my living room floor. <laughs> yeah. And you really don't have to have a niche, but like to really boost what you're doing, it helps. And not unfortunately, really, but like it just is, that's what it is. All right, let's see. I thought I had, well, I've got a cork or two. I've got this like icy blue, the silver. Hmm. It's like a pig skin pink. That was like two pieces of that. Eh, I don't like it enough. A gunmetal y color. Work. A random roll of tape. Okay. Let's go with this. I think that will be pretty. I think this will be really pretty with it. I still buy leggings to make bags from. Heck yeah. I found you on YouTube staying up late because I can't sleep. <laughs> yeah. Mm. This is kind of like a shiny version of the color that's in this. I love it. Please explain how to get fabric made. Um, I actually did try to make some extra large Devons. I just never did. They were Sometimes things are more, not trouble, more involved than they're worth. So if there's ever a time that I'm not making a pattern, it's because in my eyes, it's not going to sell for the time it would take to make. Um, and you really have to know your market for that. That's pretty. <laughs> no, Dorothy, go to sleep. Go to sleep, baby. Yeah, I was not a huge fan of this pattern when I first made it. Um, it took a lot of, not fudging, but variation for me to love it. 
and like really get good at making it and quick, but yeah. I have made some regular Devons into crossbodies for people. Okay, I don't need that. Um, so what I'm doing is as I'm finishing with my pattern piece, I just put it in a little bag. It always helps me know what I'm doing. Well, thank you, Teresa. I'm not a good YouTuber when it comes to that. I don't want to tell people to just describe, <laughs> subscribe if they don't want to. So I'm probably going to start with this one because I have a thread that will match already in my machine. Um, and usually when I'm making things like this in batches, I'll just use one thread color to save time. Um, so as I'm cutting them out or having my friend Tammy cut them out, I will kind of separate them into colors. So like I'll have a batch that will look good with black thread, things like that. Um, so batch sewing is definitely a huge help when it comes to cutting down on the time it takes to cut something out. So like right now we've been working for 30 minutes um, and I've got all of my, well almost all of my exteriors cut out and and then sewing them up will take a really short amount of time too. Okay, sorry. I know you've designed your own fabric and I loved it. The one with the daisies, probably one of your old videos, but I have a painting custom made that I want to turn into fabric and make bags with it. Um, so I did that video designing fabric and I suggest spoon flour for that only because you can buy small amounts, etc. So. Hopefully that helps ya. It does and it doesn't match. I wanna find that like bright, corally kind of color. Oh, isn't this what I used with it last time? I think so. I'm gonna do this. So I made that Erica Bowler out of all of these. So we'll just, we'll make a remnant Devon. Why not? So if you purchase that Erica Bowler and you want the Devon to match, let me know. Okay, so there's that piece. Oh my gosh, I went to your recommendation thread site to stock up on a neutral thread. Dude order came in and the spool's the size of my forearm. Too funny. Where was your Beetlejuice fabric from? I designed it. Um, pretty much all the fabrics that I use for my bags are my design. And that's kind of my my shtick. Oh, thank you. Yeah, so if you guys ever want spoon flowers, the name of the place you can put on, yeah. I love the Golden Girls canvas. Where did you get it? So, same answer. I designed it. Um, some of the fabrics I do post for sale, but I usually vary them from what I make with them so that people still can only get it from me. No, I'm just kidding. I mean, I'm not kidding, but the, the hair flip. That was the joke. 
I mean, it wasn't funny, but. Okay, so let's go ahead and cut some waterproof canvas. I'm not gonna worry too much about what colors I'm using necessarily. Okay, those already have their pocket piece. Oh, that's a bummer. Oh, well, it's just for me. Those already have their pocket pieces. I don't need this. <sighs> I can't sit with you. <laughs> I can't sit with us. Should totally just stab Caesar. That's for mean girls. I don't want to actually stab anyone named Caesar. wouldn't look good. Do I have any more waterproof canvas? No. Ugh. I need to go through that bin. Alright. I've got this scrap of neutral lining, so I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Um, so I ordered that sewing machine. your guardian oh yeah thank you I need to order some of that exact color to make one pocket with oh no hi Rosie oh yay uh no not the HD9 I should have ordered the HD9 also um but I pre-ordered the 4800 How's it going? <laughs> Trish. Oh no. Hopefully I like this one better. Uh, oh, Sarah. Oh, I'm so sorry. That is the worst. So glad she said she ordered the guardian bag and the beauty bag and uh, whipped them up really quick awesome Trying to convince my husband to let me get a new quilting sewing machine. Yes. <laughs> Speaking of cars, how's the Tesla? <laughs> um, so yeah, the Tesla is CJ's car. But it's pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie. I get to drive it whenever I want, but I have a Toyota Sienna that I love. So, I don't know. It's pretty cool though. Um, fun fact, CJ wants to start a YouTube channel. I mean, he's already like done it. Um, <laughs> called the Tesla Foodie. <laughs> and like go places to eat in the Tesla. Um, so I did restock the shirts, what was left. Um, 
um, but I don't plan on doing like a major restock anytime soon. Oh, Katie, that's exciting. So yeah, if you guys can find the Tesla foodie on YouTube, you should subscribe. <laughs> oh my gosh. I was like, okay, but I wanna be your first guest, obviously. Um, so I ordered the Texo 4800. I think I've seen two or three people who are really happy with it. Um, and I just wanna try it. Yeah, the Tesla PD. I die. Well, Kira, I'm really sorry. I don't think I'll have enough of this color to send to you. Um, yes, it is a cylinder arm and it has um, automatic needle positioning, a, th a thread reducer, a speed reducer, and an edge guide and a table. Um, but my friend, I call her my friend. Would she call me her friend? I don't know. I probably can't sit with her, but... Um, at Willa, Willow and Luna has one and I was like, I want it. She seemed really happy with it. I can't believe, I know Trish, I know. And honestly, like I'm gonna sell the one I have. I think I don't want to, but it's probably for the best. Um, my 1181 does not have a speed reducer, but I'm sure that it will be worth the extra money. I just know how fast mine goes because I've had it for, what, five years probably. Okay, so it took us about 40 minutes to cut out four of those. Which, I mean... That's the magic of templates. I love templates. Um, so my cylinder arm, my, my friend tried it, um, Catherine, and she had no issues with it, but like my thread is constantly snapping and I just can't deal with that. <laughs> oh, no, still can't get it to work right. And like nothing, like no one has been able to help. Oh, I'm so sorry. I literally wish that I could like come help every single person who orders one because I feel so unbelievably responsible for that purchase. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this one because my thread color is coordinate. Ah, oh, the belt isn't tight enough. Um, so, okay. Did I ever do a fun Bobby video? Yes. Okay, let's see. So to make the belt tighter, you unscrew this push it back and then tighten it back up. So like if I, and I think I had to buy a new screw bolt from somewhere. And also this is supposed to have a cover on it. I think, but like mine is totally broken off. And I replaced it like three times and I just don't feel like replacing it again. <laughs> Worth it to help get help. Yeah. Um, I know Inga's in Canada, so I don't know 
who could help out there. I need to get a longer charging cord for down here. Okay, so I gotta get some zipper tape going. Let's see what I have. I've been really digging antique gold lately. So I feel like antique gold on this one would be nice. And I have this gorgeous purple. Um, purse feet will be restocking. Yes, they're on order. It might be like three weeks though. Yeah, oh, Inga, I'm so sorry. Um, I recently had someone ask me if I have like a coupon code for Gold Star Tool. I just want to reiterate, I don't recommend purchasing from them. Um, some people have good issues, some people have bad issues. I hate to constantly bring it up, but like, don't do it, okay? Just don't. Don't do it. Hi, Dina. Um, I have not made the moon week, but I know so many people have. Um, she doesn't allow videos on her patterns, which is totally okay. But that's one of the main reasons I haven't made one. But I did purchase the pattern because it's gorgeous. All right, I need to take my shoes off. Yeah, rivets from them are fine. I've used them, but like all the hardware I've ever purchased from them like ended up breaking on people. Um, so it's funny actually, I, during that trip, I actually went to go meet with the owner, David, and he basically was like, you know, I really think you've got a great personality and I can tell you're gaining a lot of new followers or whatever. And he was like, I want to, you know, make products with you. And at that time I was talking to my sister about um, ha having her possibly lend me the money to start doing hardware because her and her husband do a lot of investing. And I was like, well, I'm a small business, <laughs> invest in me. Um, so it was kind of crazy that at that time he was like offering me the same thing. And I talked to my sister and I was like, I just, I don't want anybody to be in charge of me. <laughs> you know what I mean? So. Yeah, Kira, right? Oh, it's so perfect. Oh, let's see. I want, you look really pretty today, tag in it. I think it would have been really cool to have like that kind of power behind it because he does a lot of stuff but um and like he even explains I mean anybody could lie to you but I just didn't feel like he was lying to me um I don't know what I was gonna say anymore <laughs> But like that, he does a lot more than just sewing machines and stuff like that. But no, nah. it's.
it's been a slow growth, but really good growth as far as my business and doing it myself. Um, lavender and twine patterns do come with their own video and she works really hard on them so I've heard amazing things about her patterns and the videos that come with them so I don't think you'll regret it. Just support the designers. <laughs> Lauren, do you have an easy pattern I could try for my first try? Um, I would definitely recommend just like a simple zipper pouch or um, a simple makeup bag. Or maybe even like a tote so that you don't have to do anything with zippers if you're not really familiar with them. Oh, ho, ho. Um, yeah. Um, where do I get the pattern? Let me think of like a good simple free pattern start uh, um i have a video just making zipper pouches that might be that might be a good place to start Otherwise, like I can't think of one off the top of my head. Someone else may have a suggestion though. Um, what are your thoughts on the Juki TL 2010Q? I wouldn't recommend it for bag making. Some people use it for bag making and love it. So take their recommendation, but I actually purchased one of those first before buying my industrial and I like it was it was it was fine but it wasn't amazing so I'm sure some of you guys have heard that story a million times but the lady at the sewing machine store locally was like I've made bags on this machine. You're not going to need anything more powerful than this. And I was like, okay. <laughs> uh, the peekaboo would be a good first one. Okay. I just hate to suggest my own. <laughs> um, I do not sell double-sided tape. Enjoying the Harlequin pouch. Yeah. Yeah. Tori said it just does not go through as much as sh they want. Yeah, that's plain and simple. Like, it's fine. Some people really love it. Um, I think Debbie Hunker uses that machine for her bags and patterns. So there are people doing it. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, but for the same amount of money, you can do better, but it's not going to be as luxe. If that makes sense, hopefully. I know. Trish, maybe someday I can carry double-sided tape. Oh, thank you, Garth. Oh, yeah. Um. Oh. I swore so loudly making the Magdalena. Yeah, that. I'm right there with you.
Yeah, way back sells double-sided tape. And that's where I get mine. I drove from Tulsa to Springfield to look at their vinyl options. Ah, that's awesome. I wish I had an affiliate code with them. No, I'm kidding. Um, so the only reason I know about FM is actually from, uh, oh, I know his name. It's, it's Chris. No. Oh my God. I'm, I'm the worst. Dad sews. Cindy, do you know Dad sews name? He was in a really bad accident recently, so I was gonna say like, please send love his way. Um, the fabric I'm using is from Spoonflower. It's Needle and Anchor Supply Co's new fabric. If you go to that video and click the um, description, you'll see links. I even like didn't want to do it with leather side down. Sometimes leather gets really sticky. Not sticky, but like the skin wants to stick to the machine. So I meant to do it with waterproof canvas down, not flush. Side down. Oh well. It's fine, it's just for me. Um the hair clips I use do not have teeth. I actually sell them on my website. Not that you have to buy them from me, but like, I have them. <laughs> They're there, if you want them. I hear Bob and Roulette. Oh, you might be right. We'll see. Um, I get my vinyl from all sorts of places. I've been meaning to do a vinyl video. Um, I wanted to start it when Dorothy was like, five months old and she's about to be eight months so that shows how great I'm doing actually Garth I think that's just my machine it's not my bobbin I need to oil it but you could be right mm, no 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 I hear it now I think we got this though comments I'm waiting for your zipper by the yard um so we just recently restocked zipper by the yard in May so the next restock probably won't be till July if I order it soon um there is some on the website right now. Oh, is it all gone? I just restocked it last, yesterday evening, like restocked what was left over. Um, Cause I held some back from the last release. Oh, Shayna, I know I wanted something out of this fabric. That's why I'm like, I was laying in bed and I got up because I wanted to use this fabric. <laughs> yeah, I think there was rose gold and light gold still in stock as of when we finished packing the 200 some orders earlier today. I did not leave myself a big enough turn hole. You're a turn hole. Um, so that's fun. Luckily this leather is pretty thin. Um, it's like a, 
designer hide from Tandy. Just cheap. Oh, Brittany, that's awesome. She said her mom found her vinyl at a discount store. I'm so sorry if that was triggering for you. Oh my gosh, Angie. I wake up every morning and I'm thankful that my hands don't hurt. I know what my future holds though. So there's that. There's that. is dad sews thank you yes please um say a little prayer <laughs> for him yeah no to self bigger opening for sure or you can use um a hair dryer to kind of um oh trish have you ever bought vinyl online and seen it and it shows up and it feels like cardboard um use it for interfacing a bag <laughs> cardboard you can use it as stabilizer on the bottom of a bag um you can like do a fancy sewing along the like perimeter to baste it in place or sew it in place i should say all right gotta burp it What I love about this fabric is that it's like um, rainbow hardware. And like, of course, this would look amazing with rainbow hardware, but I just love the antique. So where do you buy good quality but affordable vinyl? Bodeo.com. B-O-D-E-E-O-H.com. So there's our little Devin. It's so pretty. Mm. It's not the softest leather, but it'll do if I throw it on the floor. Okay, then. Ow. Oh, ow. Oh. Okay. Let's go ahead and make one more. If I were be if I were able to batch sew these, it would be a lot quicker. But I don't have um Um Emmeline sells faux leather, that's really good. Yes. Kelsey, thank you so much for making the Emily tote. I charged 35 for the Devon, I believe. Ah. Okay, I'm going to Oh, no, our bobbin was not super full, but a little full. I'm not superstitious, but I'm a little stitious. 
And I don't have any good like batch colors. The Rex leather from Emmeline Cracked on Kira. Mm. Don't like that. Say crack again. Crack. Another Mean Girls reference. Man, I don't know. I want to make this one, but I don't have thread color. I have one lime green. That might work. No, it won't. I gotta make another. Alright, let's do it. Oh. Hi, Laura. Oh, yeah. Oh, no zipper by the yard left. I'm so sorry. Um, I do have one more Ben pack, but there's no light gold in it. Um, so if you are wanting, like, that one, you can send me an email. Yeah, I really wish we had the space for zipper by the yard all the time. We just, we don't. Right now, we don't. Um, Corinne, yes. Um, actually, if you want to place an order and just include in the notes, I can edit the order. Because um, the pulls aren't included, you have to pick which ones you want. There's just too many. Um, but yeah, you can send me an email and I can help. Um, the thread I am using is Tex70 from Amon Threads. I get it at Sunny Sewing Machine. All right, yeah, we'll make two more Devons, and I'll show you guys, well, I have a ton of videos making them, but I'll show you guys how I batch, so then I got to get the thread and zipper pulls first. I should probably check the baby monitor as well. Oh, the pop tabs are my favorite too. Joanne's, I mean Pamela. Nickel. 
like this one? Okay, bye. I've been endlessly scrolling on YouTube. And there you were. And there I'll be. I do that too. How do you store your bags after I make them? I have shelves in the back room of this room that I'm in. Am I in a room? I'm in the basement. That counts as a room, right? I mean, it's gotta. Okay. Two nickels. Too antique. It's a dungeon, yes. Let me show you my pleasure room. That sounded creepy. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait. I went there. Full creep. All right. So I'm cutting my zipper to 7.75. 7 for the top. 7.75. 7 so I grossly overestimated how much zipper tape I would need, but that's fine. Set those aside. I grab these. Grab my double-sided tape. Probably make this pattern piece smaller because I always end up cutting it down. But that's mostly because it's vinyl. Okay. So the lime green sheen is this nickel. to be a little bit longer and wider. Mmm, yes. Is anyone else like really into lime green? Is it just me? Oh, Susie. How do you plan on keeping Dorothy away from your machine when she starts walking? I'm worried about keeping my two-year-old away from it when I have to work. Um, so I probably... I have a... Um, like playpen, but honestly, I think I might try to just teach her that like we don't go around this when it's moving. I don't know. I've never had a two-year-old, so I really can't say. Um, like, she's down here with us right now when we work. I mean, not literally right now. But during the day while I work. 
Yeah, and you just teach them it bites. Yeah, I feel like everybody has a slightly different approach to parenting, so you have to do what works for you. Um, but that would probably be my approach, is just like, you don't go around this, or it will hurt you. And when it hurts you, hopefully nothing terrible happens, but you learn from that. Um, but I know all kids learn differently, so that may not work. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> How would I let you know in a year and a half? Okay, there's that. Yeah, batch sewing definitely takes focus. Ben, can you just go to your spot? That would be great. I think I can make like 10 Devons at a time, but what's important to do is like same colors. Because then you can't mess it up, right? Okay, so we're going to turn the camera. Press these. Make sure that if you're using the recycled canvas from Spoonflower that you do not iron it for very long. Yes, so they start walking around of gear, but um, the question was about a two-year-old, so I don't know. My niece is 10 months and she's walking, so, I mean, that's close to a year. I'll give you that. <laughs> My daughter started walking at 10 months, nine months. Oh, little tiny, tiny thing. It's so cute. Like, is it walking or like toddling? Really, no, it's it's walking, but just like, mm, 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 mm. it's the cutest. I had it. Oh, okay.
How long will you make more wallets? Um, like sew more wallets? Like for inventory or other wallet patterns? How long do you test a pattern before you feel like it's ready for release? Um, probably like four months. And if you mean like have people test a pattern you've written versus testing for longevity, um, I'm, not, I'm not sure. It's kind of different. Depends on the pattern. Uh, Lauren, what is your least and most favorite parts of sewing projects? Um, that's, I don't want to say I have a least favorite. I mean, that's not to say they're, I mean, you're not asking like, what do you hate? What do you dislike? Um, but I would say my least favorite would be linings. I don't love working on linings because I'm like, I just want to get to the finished product. I want to see the outside, not the inside. Um, one year I wanted to make my focus like on making linings look really fancy, but I just don't love linings. But I try not to keep a mindset of like hating something as far as sewing and finishing a project because I want to love the whole process so that none of it is like daunting. You know, I, I know that the correct answer should be cutting and interfacing, but I love that part too because that's like the creative fun part. But yeah, that's a really a good question. If I had the mental energy, I would ask the same of you guys. So when this video goes live, as far as comments staying on it, I would love to know what your guys' least favorite parts of making a bag are. <laughs> but I don't have the mental energy to read all of the answers right now as they come across the screen. But I am genuinely curious. Oh, straps, yeah. Seam ripping, lining, yeah. Hi, Barb. I don't know, straps, like, I get to just zone out on, so I don't hate them. But they are very time consuming. So I get that. Like, I used to make 80 tote bags, so, like, I get it. Oh, final top stitch. Ugh. Oh, interfacing. Oh, man. Without a heat press, I, my heart is with you. Also with you, Crystal. Mm. So much crying. Like, you've spent so long making this bag look incredible, and then you're top stitching it, and you're just like, <laughs> why try? Why do I even try? So, I'm so sorry. I've been there. Yeah, make more wallet patterns. Um, I just, I don't know. Oh, good night, Corinne. Thank you. I'll update your invoice soon. Uh, we pack orders again on Friday, so. Uh, my bargain $25 steam press was the best thing I ever bought. Yes. Okay, this one goes with this one. This one goes with this one. You know what, you guys? I'm probably going to have to finish the last one or it's going to bug the crap out of me. I'm going to be up till like 3 in the morning thinking about this Devin. And instead of just doing it... It would keep me up. So I just, I'll have to do it.
Yeah, thinking about what I don't finish is worse than just getting it done. Yeah. Glad I'm not alone in that. <laughs> mm -mm. I'm like, I'm reaching that sewing zone of just like, creating. I love it. I live for it. fun combo of colors. This lime green sheen is so cool. see like my pieces are um like half an inch longer I'm okay with that I just trim it off um I do have a it's not necessarily a convention it's like a geek craft expo um but yeah I have that coming up in July uh, zippers are currently sold out The scissors on my machine are from Famore Cutlery, and the they're attached to a magnet. I designed the magnet, and I sell them on my website, but you can literally use any magnet, so long as your machine is metal. Oh, thank you, Dana. Happy to help. Okay. So, stitch length at four.
Where did you get your zipper pull installer tool? It is from, um, it's called a zipper jig. Also horror themed bag, sounds amazing, congrats. Conventions are exhausting, but usually re rewarding. Trish, don't even say those words to me, no, I'm kidding. Ugh. Oh, Trish, yeah, I've, I remember, didn't that happen a while ago too? Unfortunately, the entire thing was so traumatic for me that I remember how we altered the pattern, but I couldn't tell you. Ugh. Mm, reliving it. Sorry, not your fault. I'm fine. I'm being over dramatic for sure. <laughs> All I remember is adding three inches to something. Uh, no, you cut the gusset at three inches. I don't think we added anything. Um, that way the zipper isn't all the way to the top. So cut the gusset three inches at the top. Take that off and then you'll add your zipper there. On bags, the patterns usually have you sew a larger seam allowance and cut down. Teresa, I think it's just a bag maker thing. Um, I don't know. Don't if you don't want to. You can sew things with a smaller seam allowance. Just be consistent for the most part. You should be fine. I think it just leaves more room for error in a good way. More room to correct errors. But I know some pattern designers have been using a smaller seam allowance lately, like 3 8 inch and stuff. I feel like it makes it easier, but I think it's up to you. I love the safety net of a seam allowance, yeah. Room for unintended errors, yeah. I think it also allows you to add a second stitch. Yeah, that could, that could be. This one is very much like Bisney, Bisney business in the front party in the back business in the front hi Brittany oh oh I'm so tired but my eight-year-old volunteered me to make 18 coin pouches for her classes small business day oh oh um Cynthia yeah pretty much not today Bob and tank tops Ooh, maybe um, I do not box the corners on mine. It's just extra time and it's, I mean, it's nice, but I don't think it's necessary. There we go. I'm going to Deadcon in Indiana and we'll be selling bags. So I've been designing horror themed fabrics on Spoonflower. Very cool. Thank you for repeating your comment. I'm so sorry I missed it. <laughs> Disney. <laughs> I must have been thinking about Disney is my name the Disney font oh Teresa I'm glad of course you didn't tell me until the day before like well mom I thought I told you no did I not did I forget what time is it I bet it's like I don't know it came down at 10 11 almost midnight um, eleven forty-eight. Yeah. Okay. 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 Um, 
Um, when you're finished, do you put your tag in the lining to show up? Do you put it? I just put it in the way I have it, actually. Um, my business name is my last name. In a way, it's spelled out phonetically. <laughs> Disney. I have an Emily bag staring at me on the floor. It's like, I guess what? I'm in order. You could make me instead of uh, procrastinating. never fails that kids don't tell you things before they're due. A letter of recommendation the day before. Well, I recommend you ask for that sooner, and then maybe you'd have it. Okay, have a great day. No, I'm just kidding. their time management skills <laughs> yeah so my last name is Mormino and I get like Mormino Mormano Mormimo <laughs> oh she did still get it all oh good night Brittany Mm, 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 mm. Look at that sheen. Okay. Oh, where did I put the other one? Oh, okay. I probably won't keep that leather one. It's pretty, but I don't need it. <laughs> Is the video dying? It might be. We have kind of bad internet sometimes. Did I mention my husband does IT? You know what? I think the lime green in this will be fine. Okay, the video is fine. Cool. All right, let's do this. Maybe if I do lime green tape on this one, it'll like coordinate. I don't know. Oh gosh, I gotta get up one more time. Probably an overshare, but like my butt bone has been hurting. I think it's just from childbirth. <laughs> I think a midnight rainbow. Joyce. 
Um, I actually do have a yardstick right there. But I like to cut my um, main zipper bigger anyway because it saves time on moving the zipper pull. And there's literally no, I mean not literally, but there's no way I would be able to use every inch of zipper anyway. So I do apologize that it frustrates you. Yeah, Alaska. There's nothing wrong with Alaska. It's just the Alaska bag. Blah. I use plastic zippers. N Nero, Nero. I use Nero zippers. Nylon. Teresa, I will tell you a story. I don't know. Should I tell the story, Trish? I don't know. It's a long story. I think I might get mad. <laughs> okay. So, I was invited to teach at a sewing retreat. And... I thought, yeah, sure, that sounds amazing. I would love to do that. Holy crap. Okay. So, Lauren, since having Sweet Dorothy, are you surprised you haven't made more diaper bags or item geared towards mothers? If I had time, I would. Um, okay. So, yes. I would love to. I'm so excited. That would be a blast. I'm very busy with shows. I also have anxiety when it comes to everything. And so I procrastinated on making the bag I was supposed to teach. Now you would think, I'm not blaming anyone, but you would think that you invite a pattern designer to come teach you would have have them pick the pattern or sew one of their bags you know yeah okay but the person organizing it god bless them wanted to make it a little more interesting more desirable high-end i don't know what they're mindset was just to make it more interesting for everybody it's not their fault I don't blame them and so this pattern was designed the Alaska bag um the designer was a very well-known I mean I didn't they they did leather bags um very nice leather bags now, I don't know about you, but if I'm going to a sewing retreat, I can't take this with me. So how am I supposed to sew a leather bag on a domestic that I can travel with? I'll wait. <laughs> so that right there was just like, what? Okay. And then halfway through writing the pattern, Something happens and the person isn't writing it anymore. Okay. So, you would think, okay, let's change it, but they didn't, which is fine. Again, I'm not, you know, I'm not mad at anybody. I'm, I should have handled it differently, I guess, but 
so <laughs> that sounds like my nightmare yeah it was a nightmare um <laughs> so it's like a week before the event maybe two weeks I don't know but I was like okay crap I have to I have to figure out how to make this bag I'm talking with another designer whose pattern again we're not doing hers um about how we're going to do this how do we make this what are we supposed to do okay so i re i remake it um i go with the pattern pieces of course because most of the people have already cut out their pattern pieces but i redo it <laughs> i'm like okay this is how we could possibly make this on domestic machines well the people who took over writing the pattern got very mean towards me. Very angry. Which makes sense. I fully respect that. They had been spending a lot of time rewriting the pattern. But like, no one's thinking of, I, I can't say that. It felt like no one was thinking of 60 people in the same room making this bag. Okay. And it's the most complicated thing. Unnecessarily complicated. I don't know, Trish. Am I being over dramatic about anything yet? <laughs> ah. Um... Uh, yeah okay Trish is fully with me she was there she sat right in the front second seat um, at the first table god bless her I can close my eyes and just like picture her there um, and one of the people who helped rewrite the pattern sent me a nasty message just like what <gasps> like totally off base. I don't know. I just was like, what? Okay. Here's the, I forgot about this. The person who's rewriting it wasn't even going to be there to teach it. So it's just like, what? Like everything, like everything was just thrown up in the air. And they're like, this is what we have to work with. I don't know. <gasps> so anyway, I rewrite it, we get there, it's fine. We, we get through it. But, <laughs> it took forever. I didn't sleep the whole weekend. So if, like, I ever seem like I have anxiety about teaching somewhere, it's because this was, like, my first sewing retreat experience. It was a beautiful retreat. Like, so much love went into it, and, like, they tried so hard. And I'm not trying to diss anybody but it was a mess they know this they tried their best um but like I just <laughs> remember going in the bathroom every single break and crying <laughs> oh man yeah 60 people in the same room a pattern that was terribly written <laughs> and like I just remember this one lady she's like well I don't get it and I'm like I'm trying so hard to teach you. I'm, I want to help you. And she's like, I just don't want to make it. And I was like, I don't either. <laughs> oh gosh. And I just, I started crying. <laughs> and I just remember Lisa, like putting her hand on my shoulder, like, it's okay. You're doing great. It's okay. It's okay. Anyway. <sighs> That's my, my, my trauma. It was a terrible pattern. We did our best. It took forever. I spent $300 on pizza. <laughs> but there were a lot of good memories too. So many friends made. It was good. It was good. 
I met um, Nicole of Sonar there. Ugh, Cindy, I would have loved you being there. I don't know. I still smile. I have to smile. You can't not. <laughs> you actually had a great support system there and a lot of people pitched in. Absolutely. I could not agree with you more. Yeah. And I don't blame her for saying I don't get it. Like, it's such a big room full of people. Everybody learns at different paces and in different ways. Like, I fully get it. And I just wanted to, like, sit down and hug her, even though she was being rude to me. Like, I think she apologized later. Like, I'm so sorry. And I was like, I'm not going to take anything personally. This ain't my pattern. <laughs> and I think I probably said that at one point. Like, I know, guys, this is not my pattern. Let's just keep going. Um... But yeah, I could literally close my eyes and just imagine everyone who was there and where they sat. And I know that a good chunk of them were there for me. So it just meant a lot. I don't know. I'm getting the clumped thinking about it. Yeah, it's teaching 60 people at once was not easy. And it wasn't the original plan. So again, like, if the person who's organizing this or how to pardon it is watching like I'm I can't imagine you are but no ill feelings about that I, ugh, drama not drama but anyway okay <laughs> don't worry I drink enough for the both of us and I love you for that teaching group classes for skating is that way some people totally are chill with them and can thrive and there's some yeah one-on-one -on -one. yeah calf caffeine classes at 15 absolutely um unless like everybody knows what they're doing and they're just there to have fun i'm really hoping that the so magical expo is that way because <sighs> like i'm so excited but i'm also like absolutely terrified absolutely terrified like I can teach so many people through videos <laughs> and if you yell at me I don't know <laughs> Ugh. oh I'm glad I went with lime green this looks incredible so anyway that's that's my traumatic story Cindy, I want to so bad. You should teach pre-K. They're all like that. Yes. Oh, man. <laughs> yeah, I love kids. Um, I used to teach art classes just at a community center, but the kids were amazing. You should have someone video and put it on the screen so they can see that way, too. Um, do you mean at the So Magical Expo? I think they're going to. And they had a, like, they had a projector and everything at the last retreat I was at. Um, and update on the, um, more, you know, workshop. We're planning on September. We're just trying to finalize. I say we, I'm doing literally none of the work. Thank you to Anne. Um, trying to finalize hotel details and things like that. Um, so if you paid for that, your seat is still good. If you haven't and you want to do it, I'll have information, but the price is going to go up. So, um, just to give you an update. I know I've had people message me like, did I miss it? So, oh, it's so long Zoom would be fun. I know they do like online retreats. I just... can't make people pay for what's free it's so hard for me um so that the so magical expo is in florida kissimmee florida i'm super excited for that one um and then the other one is in dallas texas When I have classes at my own kind of location, 
I plan on doing like five people in a class max for a weekend and like machines will be there. Ugh, I just, it'll be so good. I'll have so much anxiety about that too, but like it'll be in my wheelhouse, you know? Hi, Rebecca. We should do a cruise. Oh, I don't know about a cruise. Ugh. I went on a cruise for my honeymoon and I think I was just too young to appreciate it. And like really like in the thick of my business and I hated leaving and I paid for most of it. So I didn't like it. I would go on a Disney cruise. Can we make it a Disney cruise? <laughs> yeah, too motion sick for cruises. Yeah, I could see that. And like sewing on a cruise. Ooh. Uh, same problem though, yeah, domestic. Oh, that's so cool. My aunt ran a sewing school called So Cool School. She kept it small. When it went larger, it died out, yeah. Oh, man. So Cool School. I love it. <laughs> totally got on a Disney cruise. few sewing cruises. How cool is that? <sighs> oh, guys. I love it. Hi, Jordan. How's it going? All right, we're almost done. Ugh, I'm gonna sleep so good, knowing I made some stuff. Oh, 10 day Disney cruise. Whew. What color are you using in the sides of the bag? Do you, do you mean this? This is like a khaki lining. Um, this is from my punk broidery. I remember when I lived in San Pedro, California, and a Disney ship would be coming into the port. All you could hear is the Disney music. Oh, wow. Yeah, 10 days of Disney is, that's a lot of Disney. How do you keep your hands from drying out? from all that work? Oh, that's a good question. <laughs> Do we have an orange door hinge? I mean, I really like their comment. Good for them, but I don't know what warranted that. <laughs> good job, Kira. not seen the new Corella. I haven't been to a movie theater in forever. Hi, Dana. Oh, yay. I'm so glad. <laughs> Damn, I always have way for my chat screen when there's an orange door hinge. Too funny. Okay, this one was really satisfying. Oh, rented on Disney Plus. So smart. Do you use custom name woven labels in these bags? Um, I use my custom name labels. Um, orange door hinge is a fruit that needs to be shown the door. So it's like a troll. We just came up with it. I don't know how. It's just what we call the trolls. They cause mischief. Okay, so we did it. Four Devons from cut to finish in two hours. That's not bad. I charged Devons for 35. I charged 35 for Devons. 
Okay, were there any other things that we need to discuss before I go? Like, I feel like we need to talk about more. I'm kidding. <laughs> ben is protecting the cylinder arm. <laughs> I actually have a Golden Girls Lauren tote on my website. Ooh, would you make the Guardian at 120%? Yeah. Um, Diana, yes, these will get wristlet straps. I'm gonna use my pre-made wristlet straps which I need to restock for you guys as well. I just haven't. Ah, lotion. <laughs> Moisturize me. I think I will sleep well tonight. I mean, I've been sleeping okay, but, oh, a, like a real bag. Um, Debra, this chair is comfy. I've had it for like two years now. Um, I do have a pillow in the base of it. I don't think the chair is becoming uncomfortable. I think that, um, my butt bone just hurts from childbirth. <laughs> a laptop briefcase bag? Oh, I don't know. Come here, Ben. Ben. Okay, baby. Come here. Always somebody crying at me. Um, I don't know. Oh, the Davina tote. That's a good one. For sure. Where is my pop socket? Oh, the Lynette bag. Yeah, that one looks really cool. Um, Sincerely, Jen has a new pattern coming out that I'm excited to try. Um, a designer gets 10% off, I believe. <laughs> what is your next hair color going to be? I don't know. Sorry, I'm trying to put my uh, pop socket back on so I can hold the phone better. Um, here's Dorothy's domain. She doesn't play well in it, that's for sure. So yeah, these are the Golden Girls bags I have in stock right now. This is an Emily, not an Emily, it's a Lauren. Um, and I've got two mini backpacks. do we have that's golden girls i don't know how i still have this animal crossing backpack but i do do i have any wristlets i think i have some golden girl devon pouches oh i have a golden girls wallet She is growing so fast. The other night I was watching like an old YouTube video she was in and I just watched her. It was on mute and I just watched her like, hi mom, <laughs> little butterball. Brittany, I can't either. I don't understand. Oh yeah, I was gonna show you the other shelf. Um, I did a TikTok and it had like 40,000 views with this bag and I don't know how it's still here. Like no one's purchased it yet. I was like, um, okay, fine. Oh, and I have a Golden Girls Erica Bowler that's on my website. I love this one. All right.
Um, I'm located in Illinois. I like to call it St. Louis, Illinois. Oh my God, Ben, you're driving me nuts. Hi. Okay. Batman. Okay. I am gonna go play a round of terraforming Mars on my phone. Hopefully not feed this baby. Oh no, she's still sleeping. But yeah, thank you guys so much for hanging out. I appreciate it. I love the bag. You need to bring that green dice back. Yeah, I need to bring a lot of prints back. Um, I'm really excited. Next month, I need to order the fabric, but it's going to be really cute little ghosts. <laughs> I did um, a fun painting of ghosts. And then I did one. It's a... <laughs> A cactus but it's a ghost so it's a ghost dressed up as a cactus we're not gonna order a lot of it it's just gonna be a fun round but there you go there's your little sneak peek um thank you guys so much for watching again